Right, so yes, all the way around here you can see just lots and lots of sheep. Uh, no, I'm not going to kill any, is you No, know, don't go around killing. <laughs> around, like, there's, there's nobody else for miles. There's, there's, <clears throat> you, you can't see anybody else. You thought you'd be able to see Jeez. some kind of fisherman or maybe somebody coming to like like shepherds or whatever it is. They look after the sheep or anything like that. But you don't. You just see like like a, a field structure of hedgerows, wildflowers, grasses, lots of grasses, lots of brambles, lots of dock, lots of nettles, um, riverbanks, um, pebbles, rocks. The stream is getting well. The river, the river is starting to now become a stream. It's starting to get a little bit more narrower, and the the waters are as just as shallow as they were when you got off the um, the barge. Right. Okay. Still clear. Really, really clear. The, this water, although none of you have actually tried drinking it or anything like that, it, 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 it looks as if it could be easily drink, drinkable water. It looks really clear, really pure. It's really clear. I'm not going to say whether it's really pure or anything like that because that's entirely up to you, but it looks it, it looks a damn sight better than what it does in Tharbad. Mm, okay. Well, less sewagey. <laughs> less brown and murky and sticky and gooey and slimy. Yeah. Um, so you're traveling so. a little bit further along the riverbank, and you see that um, there is an extra set of um, stepping stones. I'm um, not going to make you make you do a maneuver or anything like that because <laughs> you're literally walking from about six inches of water, and you can get from one side of the riverbank back to the western uh, west bank of the riverbank. Still in open flatland. Now you have a choice here. You can either oh follow the riverbank. Now follow the river. Going. Yes, mm -hmm. you can either yeah. follow the river. Let me just get into position here. <laughs> and uh, I think I'll draw on this one. Uh, so if I use a, I use a luminescent. So you can either follow the river bank, mm -hmm. or you can take the path near the oh. woods. And this is all open here. Here, where my this is this is all flatland. This is all flatland. Yes, um, there's we can, some from here, we can slight still embankments. See the river, yeah? Oh yes, you can still see the river. I mean, I'm not, not, I'm not saying it's completely flat. It's not like mown grass. No, no. But the grass comes no up to about waist height. There's no mountains or hills or anything like that. There, there is hills, like one or two little hills, and some embankments. These are embankments. Uh, but it, it is fairly short and fairly flat. Um, the ground to... is hard. It's solid. It's not mushy. It's not squishy or anything like that. Like, you expect like marshland next to a river or anything like that. It's kind of like bulrushes growing out of pebbled and broken, fragmented rock. Right, okay. I guess to shortcut it, in a sense, we could just go with the path. Yeah, but we wouldn't know if it was a shortcut. Presumably, you, we can see this as a raised bank. You can see one path mm -hmm. leads away from the river towards a wood, and the other path, you, or you can actually just follow the riverbank. Oh yeah, I mean, the original plan was to follow the riverbank, so... Tell it to you. Woods, we can get maybe, do a little hunt maybe, just to get some rabbit and food, or oh, I suppose I've still got my sausages, I don't need... You still got sausages. You still have daily rations. You well, have I enough don't. amenities to be able to make. And we have apples. Yeah, I have a bag of apples. And... You have a bag of apples. <laughs> Which I would Nine. totally num num on. Num num. And um, other bits and pieces and things like that. So there is plenty of. I don't forget there is the fish. And yeah. we can fish, it'll, it'll but we fish. don't have any fishing. It'll, I have it'll, a bit of string though, don't I? So. A small we can thing. make a thing. Yeah. Make a thing. A make a rod, fishing rod. Make uh, a fishing uh, rod. stick. With the, some string. <laughs> yeah, you, you uh, yeah, I don't, don't see why you couldn't try. But um, the, the the fishes that um, live in this river are um, what we call spratlings. They're about two to three inches long, and resemble European sardines in in close proximity to, and they um, they swim in shoals of around twenty or thirty. Mm. So it's quite easy to catch them. Yes, yes. You could, you could probably chase, yeah. if you wanted to. You could chase them um, into a small rock pool. There's various yeah. like small little rock pools and um, parts of the, parts of the river itself where um, it gets shallow. Um, or if you wanted to, you could spend maybe 20 minutes to an hour building a small little um, stone enclosure, like a, build a small dam, and uh, trap them all in that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like you, you, there's, there's multiple ways of being able to actually get the fish to be where you want the fish to be. So what time of day would it be round about here? Is it still quite early morning? It's or still it early, like... early. You did leave the village, well, the small really hamlet, early, yeah. when it was really early, just as it broke dawn. You've been travelling now for about three to four hours. None of you have a timepiece, so the best, the only way you can, you have to be judgmental when you're saying time. Yeah. Um, when you're on the countryside, you're guessing it's around about three to four hours of travelling time. Okay. 
Um, I will ask Estelle if mm-hmm. if we if, if she thinks maybe we can go up to the woods, make camp, and then head back to the river, or if she wants to continue until we get to another ruin or something like that, and we'll make a little camp to get breakfast. What what, what time is it currently? It's coming up to around about ten, half past ten ish. You don't know exactly, but somewhere between ten and eleven o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's in the morning. We can still in travel European, in European time. Um. Yes. Yeah, no, I don't mean count to sleep. I mean count to eat. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's nobody around. Um, there's the fish. There's the birds. There's um. When's the sheep? last time we ate? <laughs> when we arrived on the um, barge. <laughs> when we arrived, yeah. Oh yeah, that's been a while, hasn't it? Well, it's been a day. <laughs> yeah, we're day. pretty starving. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, the last thing uh, you see, remember I prefer is the to. Omelet. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I. Well, um. I would like to stay either near the river or head to the woods and see what's in the woods. I'm interested in the woods, but. Don't really know what our benefit would get me out of that. And um, the quickest way to Rivendell is by the river. Hmm. It's what we've been told. Yes, we were told. Well, stick uh, well, to the well, stick to the river to know where to go. So we can detour over here as long as we can keep an eye on the river being over there. We can. So, what do you want to do? <laughs> It's fairly flat and open, um, but yeah, yeah, the, <coughs> yeah, yeah. There's one path going off into the like towards the woods, mm-hmm. and there's a stream going up along the hill as well. There's a stream, yes. It runs up to a small little opening, um, some cave type opening. You don't know the caves there, obviously, but you see there's a stream. Uh, but we'll off. see a stream going that way as well. Um, there's a path mm. that heads off. All you can see is just from the distance, if you're looking at it from a horizon point of view, is a forested area, or the river kind of goes off into the um, into the east. We, so you can follow mm. the riverbank, or you can follow the path, or you can get towards the woods. It's up to you, or follow the, follow the small stream if you wish to. See, I, as I, I don't know this route, I've not been up this far ever before. I'm looking to an elf to give me the guidance, because we're going to somewhere that is supposedly going to be elves. Mm-hmm. Oh. But I'm glad. It's fairly I'm open. glad you're looking to me yeah, for it's, advice. It's, it's dry, <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's, clouded, it's, clouded, it's clouded over, but it's still sunny. <laughs> Yeah. It's not, is it hot? It's warm? not hot. No, it's 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 um. Do I still it's, it's am I still chilly. wet, stinky? No, the kind that 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 smells kind of just drifted off you now. Um, I think maybe we could go anyway. by to the woods. Maybe we be able to get some Ooh. odd sticks as well for fire later. Yeah. As well. Like some sticks so let's and head that way then we're collecting a little bit of okay yeah, so yeah. You're, yeah you're taking the path towards okay after much discussion much debate you decide to head off towards the uh, taking the path towards the woods yeah. it's a trail it isn't it hasn't been used it's not a major thoroughfare you know it's not it, it hasn't been, it isn't used frequently but mm. um, um it, it has been used it has been used in the last week oh does it look like it's only like a single line, or like, yeah, does it, it look like something big? Yeah, it literally is just a single person. Like, it's not a road, it's just a okay. same, small trail. It's only been used probably by maybe one or two people passing through. That is it. You are heading towards the woods. Is it mixed wood? I perceptioned the woods. You want to hold the wood? It's a forest. <laughs> <laughs> well, the woods, the, the, the front trees that I see. Okay, they're... Um, 63 plus 17 because okay. I just rolled that <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely mixed wood it's a it's got some beech and some elm and some um maybe which woods would be best uh, I the, don't the, know. The, 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 there is some kind of um, there's, there's, a hill, there's some the hills it, it, there's some like a small uh, mounds in the woods the ground to the wood is a mixture of uh, tangleweed nettles brambles and large leaf foliage um, as well as grass mixed wood there is oak trees there's beech trees there's elm and there's various other um, types of trees in there there's not any particular type of style of wood 
Mm, you can approximate it's been there for for a while. It's been there for a long time. There's a lot of dead, dead trees in there as well. Storm damaged trees. Um, there's lots of moss covered logs. And there's lots of mushrooms growing on the side of trees. And there's things like berries and whatnot all hanging around there as well. I would like to go in in the forest. And just, the just the first part, like not go right in the middle, just enter in the forest to collect a bit of dead wood I see on the floor. Can't bits that have been broken. Oh. Hmm? Never mind. <laughs> um well, You going into the forest? Yeah, I am. Yeah I stay here. You're staying outside the fort outside. She's on just the verge of a line or Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. Like yeah. just here? Yeah, you kinda of stop on the tree line. Yeah. Okay, you're on the edge of the tree line. Lee, you go in, you go head into the woods. You stick your head in. You go in for about three or four meters, and yeah. then you you, uh, you see that that it is um, your straight. typical everyday kind of wood. Nothing special about it. Don't um, stray too far. There's <laughs> <laughs> <Body, as> <laughs> still yes. shouts at me. I, I turn around and go, oh, shut up, and carry on going further in. <laughs> Go further in. Okay, it's not a huge wood. There is some like um, some hills, um, hill mounds. Is it openly like is the canopy openish or is it's it? It's open quite in parts. Thin? It's open in parts. It's like there's a there's a small grove of trees of uh, about six or seven trees, and then there will be a a an open canopy, and then there'll be a gap, and you can cross that, and then you'll be able to get under maybe another four or five trees. So it's kind of very sporadic. It's not a complete cover it canopy. Um, there is holes in it. Uh, looking up, you can see bird nests and, um, and and that kind of thing. You see a squirrel. Okay. I'm just checking if I had anything on me that I could use to hunt or. Nope. Probably not. Can I, with the bit of string I have, smells, smells very damp. Can I do a perception test? See if hmm. there's anything around there I can see. I can. Identify it shouldn't be there or anything that sort of sticks out a little bit. I can't get my dice up. There we go. Perception tables up. Really? Really? Well. <laughs> <laughs> it was <laughs> 21, now it's just one. <laughs> 21. There we go. Um, nothing. Nah. No, no, oh, it just God. looks like just that you've just walked into a wood and the wood is real. It's not a pigment of your imagination. Um, <laughs> I should have flicked it. I knew I should have flicked it. Yeah, it's not a pigment oh. of imagination. Um, nothing magical, nothing strange about it. It has typical wood stuff in it as well, like trees and grass and oh, dirt and moss um, and nettles. And there's a, there's a bit of holly. Yeah. Can I perceive for any? You're on the you're on the tree line. twigs and things that I can grab to make fire for later. Yep, gone. <laughs> oh, it's my counter's fault. That doesn't count. <laughs> counter's fault. You just flung it at yourself. Where's that gone? Eh. Okay. Eh. I'll just pick it up some woods as well. 83 plus 17. 83 plus 17, that's, yeah, that's fine. Yes, Ellie, you, there, there is numerous branches, broken twigs and things like that. Um, you put your hand up against a tree, just to rest up against it, and the tree kind of, it's an old tree, and it breaks and comes over. It's not a very big tree, but it comes over, and its roots are upturned. And oh. yeah, there, there, there's a new, um, uh, an abundance of wood. To be to that can can be used for a campfire or for something else. But yes, there's abundance of branches. There's pine cones on the floor as well. They burn pretty well. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab mm, five pine cones. Okay, these are fairly large pine cones. Five pine cones. You got five pine cones. Yes, you just could, you don't don't need to go searching for them. They're pretty much at your feet. And um. A few twigs, so probably five or six. It doesn't take you long to grab so many twigs and so many pine cones. Lee. Yes. It is a real wood. It is a forest. It's, it's <laughs> woods. Yes, you have discovered a forest. 
My rolls are going to be bad today, aren't they? Um, yeah, I, well, I, I, I grabbed a load of wood as I'm walking back out then. Ah, you can grab yourself, um, the, 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 there's a few broken branches which have been brought down in the, in the wind um, from a couple of nights ago. Yeah. You can grab those. Yes. Got them? Yep. Yeah, and two I just... Large logs, two large logs, two large branches, I would say branches. Branches, okay. There's still nope. nothing around for miles. Yeah. Um, Is there any flint? Possibly, like rocks nearby. Uh, there, 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 there is stones, but uh, these are probably like ice age, like boulders that have been dragged down by the ice age sort of thing. You know, what I mean, like not, there's nothing in the way of, uh, of flint. Unless you're gonna start digging or something like that, and you ah, honestly you wouldn't really know where to dig. You would just start <laughs> digging, and you would have you'd be digging through probably thousands of years of um, uh, of forest floor. No, I'm good. I, I want to head out back to the main path. Uh, you just got into this wood? Just, um... Just say yes. like, Since I see him do that, I'm going to go back to the path as well. Everyday, regular, uh, everyday normal wood. There's nothing special about it at all. Um, it's just a small wood. It's got a few hills in the middle of it. It's a mixed forest. It's got pine and um, beech and, and elm and all those types of woods in it. Um, lots of bushes, lots of weeds, lots of brambles, lots of nettles. Um, and uh, you've gone in there and you've just picked up some pine cones and you've picked up some uh, branches and some logs and things like that and you've just brought them back to the main path. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Yeah. Okay, what Question are you, mark. Oh, what are you doing with all these branches and twigs? Are you going to keep them or? Uh, I'm just holding on to a few just to wrap yeah, them Yeah, that's, okay. uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just holding yeah, yeah. them. Like the branches, like what I do is I wrap them around the top of the tarp bit and then just have them so they're sticking out the side to side of my shoulders now. Alright, okay, so yes, you've got yourself a few twigs and some branches and some... I stick the and twigs and pine cones in my backpack, so... You can stick the twigs with me if you wish. Yeah, I give you the twigs and keep the pine cones in my backpack. Oh, you got some broken twigs and branches and things like that. Some so, stuff and... Lee, you have five extra twigs from me, twigs. by the way. Okay. <laughs> Uh, just just right that end up putting wood for fire. They're far small twigs. They're no big. Each twig is no bigger than than a pencil. Yeah, kindling. Yeah, basically they're, they're just small sticks. I'll keep the pine cones. They're all dry. Me. They're all fairly dry. Um, nothing mm -hmm. special about them at all. They don't have any special properties. They're not used in medicine or anything. Maybe like I should have got thing. five more. <laughs> they're not they're nice. pine cones. <laughs> but you have five pine cones. The five pine cones. Um, uh, quite large. They are closed at the moment. The actual the, the furs on the pine cone are closed. They're not. Uh, they're not open. Ah, means no mm. rain. I mean, it, yeah. So. Means no rain. Nothing means special about sun. them yet. Nothing special about them at all. So uh, you've got the, all this stuff you just pulled out of the forest. You're back yeah. on the path. Yep. Uh, are you heading in a direction, or are you staying mm -hmm. where? You're at? Oh, you're um, heading that well, way. Heading to here. Okay, after about uh, 20 minutes or so, you um, come to a, um, a, the path that either leads east or west. It's like a small junction. You By this time, you've lost sight of the river. Yes. Okay. You can't yep, hear the river, indeed. and you can't see the river. To the north is open moor land with some rocky outcrops. To the west, the path runs across the north face of the forest that you just spent um, a few minutes in. And to the east, the path seems to spread out across open land to, to, towards a large flat open area, like plateau kind of thing. Okay. Hmm. Well, well, still, which way she reckons we should go? Should we head towards the, the way we know the river is? Well, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Probably just go, just you know, go yeah, east because yeah. I know we, we just that went that way, so the river would be that. So okay. that's smart. Yeah, <laughs> that's smart. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right. that intelligent. Yeah, he's so intelligent. Okay, so you decide to take the east path. You're walking down the east path. Again, you don't see anybody. Lee, you can probably say that maybe there might have been a person this way in the last two weeks. Okay, so it's, it's quite overgrown. Oh, he hasn't told me yet. 
What's that? That you think the person's been here in the last week or so? It just means that the path hasn't been used in the last two weeks. Uh -huh. um, yeah. It's not a well-trodden path. It's 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 a, one of those minor paths uh, for getting from A to B. It's not a um, it's not a trading route. It's not a marketing route. It's not a, a peddler's way or anything like that. It's very open and flat, and you've been travelling now for about mm, an extra hour or so. So it's coming up to what you would give or take an hour either way of midday. Okay. I say to Estelle, once we get closer to the river, shall we make camp to get some food? Uh, yeah. Because by this point, I think we're pretty starving as is. That's so we've walked quite away. Oh, well, no. I can. I can say no to food. I'm not going to starve to death, but I'll be quite handy to have food. Okay. Another hour or so goes by. You get to about here. Mm -hmm. Okay. You start hearing the sound of the river again. You can see the river again. And Yay. across the river, you see what is left of as a, as a small fortlet, a castle, so to speak. Ooh. And the castle looks much, much more intact than the previous last two runes. Okay. And Does it look bigger, like? Or, yeah, yeah, it's considerably bigger. And it seems to have four round towers and a, an adjoining curtain wall. It's open on one side. Mm -hmm. It's the ruin. Okay. So does it look like anything's there? Like, does it look like anyone's there, So I should say? You don't see anybody, <clears throat> you don't see any lights, you don't hear anything. Okay. I will say to her still... The tower make... looks approximately, from your guessing, three stories high. The actual Damn. keep, the keep to the castle, I wouldn't say none of the tower. The towers, the towers just like, like normal round turret towers, if you can imagine towers and battlements. Um, one of the walls has collapsed, giving you a way into the actual, the, the bailey area of the keep. Of the of the, of the fortlet, mm -hmm. and the keep area looks approximately two stories high. From okay. where you are standing, that's what you can see. I I, I ask still. This is on the far side of the river. This is on the far side of the river. It's partly obscured by tall grasses, trees, bushes, and things like that, and it's normal kind of like ruinous. Can, I, I want to walk closer to the river. Okay. And see like what the river looks like does it look shallow deep is there a way it's to fairly the shallow it's, it's very shallow it's down to about five inches now so i can just get over sort of thing if i choose yes cool i asked estelle if she wants to make camp over there in the in the stone walls you can't hear anything uh zelly your elf hearing you put that to good use and you can't hear anything coming from across the river apart from the normal bird song and the the blowing of the wind Hmm. It sounds safe for now. I guess it could be a form of shelter. Well, Use it just to an advantage. <laughs> One head over. Okay. No, I started I'll... I'm walking. I'm walking. following. <laughs> we're heading over. Yes, we head towards where we can see the the wall sort of broken down. Like that. Okay. So you cross the river. Mm -hmm. Oh, what there's happened? a map for this. Oh. Shit, we're gonna die. <laughs> this is where the dungeon part comes in. <laughs> okay, so you're over on this particular segment of the map here. Okay. okay. The small stream. Okay. You guys can see this, yes? Yep. Mm -hmm. There's a small stream runs from out under the keep and joins the main river and there's a small stream that kind of runs through the keep as well. You can see there's there's, there's the four main towers, there's a curtain wall with a stream running through the actual bailey area, there's a giant keep which looks approximately two stories high and a lot of the towers are in ruin and a lot of the walls around. There is a gap in the wall where you actually be able to get into it just by climbing over some boulders 
It looks like so it's been were under... we originally on this side of the river where my cursor is now? Yes, yes. And so we came... jumped over this bit. To you come down came... here. Yes, you came from this direction. Okay. This stream runs into the main river. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yes. We yes, the, the this river. runs from under the keep, and there's a small stream that runs through and eventually joins the river again. Down there. Okay, yes. Alright. So, okay, you can't see anything, you can't hear anything, you don't see any lights on, anything crazy like that either. I want to go in. Not thinking, I just go straight in. Not thinking, I just go straight in. He's like going straight in, I'm like, oh, well. He's going straight in, I'm following. Okay, you head, you head in, climbing climbing over the boulders and the broken wall. You can see that it's been under attack at some point in the past. Bunch of history. Bunch of can history. Can I do a perception test to see if there's anything? Because I'm presuming, is, is this the courtyard here? Yeah, that, that's the, the yes. That, but no, it's yeah. not really a courtyard, it's kind of like a, what can I say, like a, like a staging area, prepare, a preparation area. Okay. It's not paved, it's grass. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Preparation area. Um, yeah, so can I do like a little test, session test to see if there's anything around that looks useful? Um, I did the same. <laughs> I rolled ahead. <laughs> 62 plus 17. Now you can roll, Lee. You look around, you can see there's a couple of, um, like, wooden sheds. You see the wooden sheds that are there? Mm -hmm. Um, they look like they were former stables. Mm-hmm. Uh, the stream looks clear as the one you've just left at the river. It's very quiet. Birds seem to be roosting in one of the towers. Okay. Okay. I got a, a 60... 8 plus... Eight. Yeah. What's your perception? Uh, what is my perception? It's good, quiz. Yeah. It's about yeah. 2 or something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's not very much. It, it is, like, quite low. It's not on that bit. It'd be on this bit. Plus 5. Yeah, again. Yes, there's you're, shed there. You're, you're I agree. Yeah, there's a former stable block. One time you share sight with me. Former stable block. <laughs> former stable block. Yes, there's a couple of small little, like, wooden huts. Mm. And there's a broken wooden hut on the far side. With these wooden huts, are they open? So, or like, do, are they the walls? Or? Yeah, they're kind of derelict. Can we see through them or in them? You can see right through them because the panels to them are broken and okay. several are missing. Yes, they look like they were just typical storage sheds. Okay, I ask Estelle then if she wants to if we start a fire up here. I guess what we'll do. If you want to start a fire up and we have a bit of breakfast. Maybe we can search the site Make a little after. fire here. We'll have to clear out the ground so there's no necessary stuff of getting caught on fire. Yeah, we'll make a little we'll fire here. We'll use some of these boulders here to make a little fire pit. This could be shelter and we can check things inside them. Yeah, so the, there's, the, the four, there's the four towers. One, tower one, tower two, tower three and tower four. And then there is the main keep area. There is a door to be able to get into the main keep area. That doorway appears to be um, just... There's no actual door on it anymore. It's just an archway and you're straight inside. And um, <laughs> the ground floor to the keep, just stone arches holding up the next floor, but there is a staircase going up to the next floor. That's all you can see. Okay, I ask Estelle then if she wants to do it outside or inside. Um, well, we don't want to smoke the indoors. Okay, so we, we'll start doing it outside <laughs> then. Unless inside has a stove. Do you want to check first? I mean, normal castle battlements I mean, they usually come with stoves, but... Yeah, we could search first, make fire. sure everywhere's safe and fine, even though there's no sound. There's, but... the four to there's, there's the four towers, there's the stream, there's the actual um, staging area, which is like, basically just a few sheds and, a, and an old stable, and there is the master keep. But the ground floor, you can see the ground floor of the master keep is just a, a, a like a, 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 a maze, like a maze, but like, like just arches holding up the second floor. Okay. There is a staircase going leading up into the second floor, from the ground floor. Shall we go and have a look then, Zell? Mm -hmm. no, Estelle. <laughs> Estelle. Zell, Estelle. Do they rhyme? <laughs> okay, so, yes. Yeah. So, very old keep, very old keep. It's had some kind of an attack or something like that in the past. It looks as if it's empty now, derelicts, not much is happening. Animals are using it for shelter, uh, wild animals uh, and uh, birds. Okay. Okay, so uh, you go into the ground floor of the keep and it's exactly as I said it was which is basically there's nothing on the ground floor it's um, it's Just raised stone pillars almost, it's, yeah, yeah state of stone pillars it's actually standing on pillars and it's raised above the ground floor as some kind of like a defense mechanism like a defensive system it's very okay. dark under there although it is solid can we see under like is, uh, is it are we able to see the the stairway or yes you can see the stairway like roughly how dark would it be 
in my go trip over it's stuff. In, it's, in, it's very, very dark. I'm not saying you wouldn't trip over stuff. Zelly, you, you have enough light to be able to see perfectly with using your elf side. I guess w if, there's considering there's no sound... Of, there's no sound. You, you start the fire, I'll just look upstairs. Okay. Since I can see fine, you're obviously having trouble there, aren't you? <laughs> the ground floor, it, it is sealed. I mean, it, it, imagine you've just gone through a archway from daylight into an archway of uh, pillars holding up a two-story um, stone structure. So it's very dark inside, although it's not completely dark because there is small little like windows of light on the ground floor that do let enough light in for you to be able to see. Okay. I can, I can. Give him the fire starting bow and uh, the pine cones for him to start the fire while I look up. Wait, what have I, what have I got? Five fire pine starting. cones and one fire starting bow. Fire starting bow. I do want the fire starting bow with me there, so I can leave in my backpack. <laughs> okay, I'll give it back. Okay. I'll go and start fire right up you're here gonna, then. You're going to start a fire in the, in yeah. the, in the, in the stage you yeah, yeah, I'm okay. going That's to fine. go towards the stairs to go upstairs. If anything happens, I'll just run back down. <laughs> okay, Zelly. You're at the foot of the stairs. You're looking up the stairs. You can see the stairs are intact. I slowly go up the stairs and look if... Make sure there's no any old traps that are still not sprung or anything. If <laughs> there's something... Will that not be a perception wrong. test? A perception? Are we detecting for? In case they were old... Tripwise. Cause it, yeah, because if it's a fort, it could have, like, defences, you know? So, wait. Okay, roll. No, I just want to roll one at a time. Well, go on then, one at a time. Go on then. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> worked <Yeah>. out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your perception? 17. 17? Okay, 95. Um, I didn't even mean to hit it, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zully, yes, it's a, it's a perfectly fine, solid, cold disused stone staircase. There is no moving panels, no secret buttons, no pressure pads, no trip wires or anything like that um, on the staircase. Okay. Lee? Yes, so I want to grab some of these stones that are loose around here. Okay. Yes. Make a little there's, fire there's, pit there's, there's, just here. Okay, you're making a small little fire plate. You're just carrying, back, carrying backwards and forwards. You need about ten of them of these boulders, yeah, which used to be part of the, the actual um, the wall of the keep. As you can I'm see, not doing like overboard, I'm not going massive big tower, boulders. Yeah, the, just... the, 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 tower, the tower marked as number two and the tower park, park marked as number four, they are completely, completely in rubbles. Tower one seems to be um, structurally sound and tower three seems to be structurally sound. So you go and get yourself some boulders and you're making a small little like fire circle. This wooden shed bit here, I break some panels up. And, uh, yep. use it, them as... it takes no doing that yeah. you go over to it, you put your arm up, arm on it, and you push it, and just rocking the actual one of the corner posts backwards and forwards, the roof collapses, okay, the, the rear of the shed falls down, falls off completely. Oh, it's a good thing we weren't under there. It just collapses. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, so um, I'm going to start up this. Its posts have been very, very deep, but all the only things actually holding it together now is the, the knotweed that's grown around it and the ivy. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, I'll start. Do I hear that off. from where I am? You just you, yeah. Well, you kind of you just hear something collapse, but it's not stone collapsing. It's it's wood falling yeah. over. So it's not a massive. So it makes like a little pallet. It's not, not something like dropping a brick off the top of off the roof or anything like that. It's just. It just almost panels. made me slightly paranoid, but I continue because I'm oh, like, oh, okay. you probably did something. <laughs> I mean, there were sheds outside. Maybe they okay, crumbled. Zilly, you are on the staircase. You're at the top of the staircase now. Yes. There is a door. To your right. Mm -hmm. I Quick inspection check it. of the door. The door is open. There's no lock anymore. The lock's just completely destroyed, like wrecked. I off. peek inside. You have a look inside, and you see it is a former guest quarters. Hmm. There's what remains of an old bed. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, hasn't been used in like forever. There's a chair. There is a small, like a dressing table kind of thing, small little side table, and there is a portrait or an old painting hanging above the fireplace. There is a fireplace. There's a fireplace. The fireplace is actually shared with the fireplace of the room next door. So oh. that'd be one fire. Yes. That's kind of interesting. And the fire would be shared. You can see through the fireplace to into the room adjacent. Huh. 
Hasn't yeah. been used in ages. As I say, the door, the, the door is ready to fall off. The bed's, the, like, yeah, the bed's just uh, totally rotten. There's a damp, musty smell from everywhere and everything. And the painting, the old painting above the fireplace is completely covered in soot and grime and a black fungus. What would normally be in the fireplace now, then? Like, would it just be old charcoal? Or... Yeah, it'll just be ash and charcoal. That's a central fireplace, and a central fireplace was shared between this guest quarter or a kind, some kind of like a sleeping room, you know, like a bedroom sort of thing. And it looks through, Zelly has a look through the fireplace and can see there's no back to the fireplace and realises that there's an adjacent bedroom on the far side of the fireplace. And there was like black moss where? Black fungus has grown, is actually like, like coming, and you know, the, the, the painting, the picture above the fireplace. Oh. It's got it's got all damp and it's gone all black and mossy and oh, it's got like mouldy. A, it's gone all mouldy, yes. Oh. Stuff that you can wipe away, sort of, to make it okay. clean. That sort of sooty stuff. Because I was gonna see what the portrait was of. It's very dirty, very dusty, very um, hasn't been lived in for your guess, early long time. Probably maybe two hundred, maybe three hundred years. I wanted to see what the portrait was of. If I could even tell what it is. You can't really tell where it is. It is just, yeah. It smells bad. It's got green fungus and black fungus growing across it kind of thing. And it, it, smells, it smells very damp and yucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's birds roosting in the um, in the eaves of the roof. So okay. you can imagine what it's like. It's like, it's, 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 like it's, it's, a, it's been a bedroom at some point and nature's taken it back. And the animals have, have kind of moved in. Okay, it's very dark. There's a door here, right? There's a door. Yes, there's a door there as well. The doors of this place are fairly um, wrecked. I follow these doors to here. Door. That goes out onto a, a, a kind of like a, a corridor, but it's a corridor with a banister running left to right on it. That's it. That's these this. are little balconies that kind of look as if they're, they're, they're overlooking the bottom floor? The bottom floor. So in front of you, you can see pillars and holding, like go, traveling from the first floor past the second floor, holding up the third floor. Oh, okay. Okay. To the left, to the left there, you can see a staircase leading up to the next floor. These, uh, these are windows. These are arrow slits, and they're letting in light. So you can see the light coming in from the east. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, from the west. From the west. Um, and they're coming through, and the, you can see the the light being casted onto the pillars. You can see the pillars, so you can see all the way down to the main floor. Yeah. And you can see the, a roof above you, and there's a staircase to the left, which goes up to the next floor. These are smaller, like balconies, the stone. There's a stone banister going across these. So these are two uh, bedrooms. I'm going to peer through here because I don't know if I saw everything through just the fireplace. You could just see it was just place. a Jason bedroom. You see a similar kind of thing. You can see there's a bed and there's a desk. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, over here there's a pile of rags e e where you thought you saw move. Oh, oh, maybe there's rats in there. Yeah, quite uh... possibly. There's two little doors at the far side. Oh. And there's a door, obviously, between the two chambers as well. Ah, oh, I uh, could have gone through that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. Uh, okay, you can see that, yes, this is the adjacent fire, uh, fire fireplace. It's a single check. fire shared between the two chambers. Ah! Um, there's arrow slits on the east the side. Possibly rats thing. Okay, you're yeah. making way down. So you. I want to peek through here. Gone back. This, 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 this is like this is a desk, and there's a bed here, and there's a bed here. Uh, there's no door here. The doors are just hold held on by one hinge. You look inside, and you can see there's a massive pile of just rags and 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 fabrics and things like that. It looks like it's been some kind of dressing room, or some kind is of like. Is there rats in there? Th 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 there's. Uh, um, you Is can, there anything you, you in can there? Hear, yeah, you can hear something, some animal sound coming from inside here somewhere. Not dragonish animal sound, but small rodent <laughs> animal sounds coming from inside here. <laughs> it's very dark. Um, there is a narrow slit that actually gives some kind of light into this place. Um, yeah. And you can tell that it, it, it is all just green, I would grab yucky. some rags for fire or whatever. There's lots, <laughs> lots of rags. They're all, they, they seem to be dry. They just seem to be very, like, bleh, messy. But I... I don't want to touch that. No. Okay. I go back out. <laughs> okay. Lee. Hello. You have got your fire circle going. Look at this. You got your little <laughs> fire circle going there. Uh, wait. You got your your your, your, your circle <laughs> of stones is in place. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm drawing ahead. It takes me a long time gonna, to draw. How, how, how are you going to use to um to start this fire? So I've broken some of the panels up. I want to place that around. I've got the wood 
chips that I have. <laughs> yes, you got the wood chips. Um, yeah. Just for and people Zeddy listening. And Zeddy has lent me her bow. Yeah, fireball. It's a fireball. Which oh, it comes with what a bit of wood on the bottom, so it has like uh, it's enders. A, it, yeah, it's like, basically like a spinning peg kind yeah. of thing. You put it in the string of the bow, you turn it once so it loops it, and then as you push the bow backwards and forwards, the the the, the peg will spin. Spin around, yeah. That's right. You hold it down on, on one of the panels. Yeah. I, I make a little little uh, circle engrave on one of the panels here. Yeah, it doesn't take yeah. much. It's very soft. So I use that on my little knife. And I go, soft wood, yeah. And then, as I say, I put the wood chips around it. Yep. And I cut a little bit of my um, tarp, because I know it's very flammable stuff on it. Yeah, yeah, you, you can pull, you pull it into threads. If you pull it into, like, like, pull the threads apart. Yeah, only one little bit. So yeah. I ended up putting it's it just around the end. And I, I, I'll use the bow. I'll yeah. get you, the bow. You, you rip a little piece off. Pull the threads apart, and you're starting to actually set a way starting the bow. Do you want to roll? Uh, Just for people listening, Lee drew like a little tiny fire on the map. map. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, it gets better. Come on. God. <laughs> roll, <laughs> roll the dice into it. Go. Oh. I know, didn't even reach that. I didn't, far, did didn't even think about that. No. Okay, Lee. Yes, you'll be able to get a fire going, but it'll take you two turns to get the fire going. <laughs> Zelly be able to do a fair good by Zelly be able to explore another floor. Why I'm doing that? Can I literally just go and take a bite of my apple? I want to take a bite of an apple. You take a bite of an apple and you set away just like spinning this ball backwards and forwards. It's going to take you, yeah, it's going to take you a couple of turns to, to actually get anything out of this. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm heading here. <laughs> good sleep. Okay, Zelly, you see this staircase going up? Ooh. <clears throat> up the staircase. I just peeked up here. You peek no. up, stick your head over this kind of like the stone banister here. You can see, yes, there is a a, a desk. There is um, what we, we you, you probably would, would imagine being some kind of a bookcase. There's a fireplace and there's a bed. Is there any books in the bookcase? This is about 36 feet by about 24 feet. There, there, there is no, no, not not books as such, but there's a couple of scrolls. Are they really moldy or dusty? They're brittle. Scrolls have a tendency to be brittle when they when they dried out. So if you try to unfold them, they could crack and fall apart. Because hmm. I'm curious what the scrolls would say, but I'm worried to mess with anything here. <laughs> Up to you. Mm -hmm. I could preserve it. <laughs> preserve the scroll. I don't know if I'll be able to preserve the scroll. I don't think so. It's not living. Yeah. Once I can only preserve a body. I can only preserve a body. There's been a great number of scrolls on this shelf um, at some point, but now it, it's just dry tinder. I'll try to at least get one of them and okay. see if I can unravel. You try to unravel one of the scrolls. Roll. Oh, what would this be? What would this be? Just go on whatever I decide it will be. Come. Let's, let's <laughs> just see how high it is first. Go on. It's a cooking recipe. Yay! No. Okay. <laughs> Go. Roll it into it. Oh wait, 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 wait! I can flick it. Wait, I haven't. What you miss? Go. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, that's a one. She's a bit heavy-handed. <laughs> Is that you? Um, th there was two scrolls. One, the first one you go for, you put your finger into it. And try to pick it up, but as you pick it up, it 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 literally falls apart. It just turns to dust. It's just crumbling. As you're trying to pick it up, the more you try to pick it up, the more it's starting to crack and turn to crumble. Uh, <laughs> it's like very very thin eggshell at the moment, and you just the more you're trying to handle it, the more it's just falling to pieces. Ah, give up! I'm not, I'm not making more mess. <laughs> I guess, I guess, in a sense, I just make more mess because I just started the mess, so I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, there's one scroll remaining. You just successfully destroyed the first one. Be more careful. I'll, I'll, roll, I'll roll again. There we go. <laughs> That's that was my a second flick. roll. Ninety-four. Oh, right. Okay, you um. <laughs> Accident. The second one's not too bad. The second one you actually managed to get a hold of. It's written in, in um, common tongue. Ah. And it mentions something about a um, a um, some kind of entrance. For more details, see the previous Outside. scroll. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. No, this, it mentions something about an entrance to something to something else, to some uh, dungeons or underground chamber, um, outside. Some uh, it's mentioned as being outside under the stable. Outside under the stable. Wait, which stable? You don't know this well. yet, Lee. No, no, I know. Okay, yeah. So I'm just wondering the, what. The, yeah, the scroll indicates that there's some other, there, there's something else underneath. The, um, this one or this one. Well, it just says stay with Underneath it? the castle, underneath the keep, or this fort, um, there's ad additional rooms, and you can access them through some kind of like a ground hatch, which is found under the stable. Which could be here, or could be here. That's it, Zilly. Right, Lee. Still starting fire. You got a flame. Yay, you got a flame. I nurture that flame until it gets big. <laughs> I nurture you, little flame. Get big. Um, I've got to redo my. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I put some more wood on it. and You put some little pieces of wood on it. You yeah, put a I, those of, like, sticks that was any. Little uh, sticks, things like got. that. You blow on it very, very carefully. You're trying to get it going. And yes, the flame is starting to grow. Yay. So yeah, I, I put some big bits on it while it's growing. And you put some larger what? bits on it. You put the pine cones on it as well. No, no, the pine cones I'm oh, not putting on okay, yet. Okay, you're not putting the pine cones on. Okay. No, no, I don't think um, I need them. Yes, yeah, so you've got a small like kind of like a whole pile of these breaking these branches. What Zelly gave you these little twigs down into little matchsticks, and you're just dropping them on one at a time onto this f small fire you've got going, steadily trying to increase it. It'll take yeah. you another turn to actually get it into some kind of something that resembles a campfire. Okay, can I uh, put a little bit more? Uh, uh, actually, that's fine. I I'm happy with that. I'll just okay, take, take a turn. Sorry if you yeah. hear crunching. <laughs> you build it up. You build it. You're a small little like uh, just, you're a flame going at the moment. You put little matchsticks onto it. Um, it's going to take another turn of you just taking your time, just putting pieces of wood onto it before you get anything to resembles a campfire, or the start of a campfire. It will take a, a little bit longer. That's all. Uh, I'm good with that. Okay. Zelly. No more squirrels. Nope. Everything else is pretty much charcoal and dust. You have, um, you know that there is, or you know of, or there was, some kind of secret entrance under one of the stables that led mm -hmm. to some underground chamber or dungeon or something like that. Anything else around here? A uh, fireplace? A bed? I can see through. And the remains of a table. I mean, there's no drawers in it, it's just a table. And the table has uh, felt um, sideways because two of its legs have completely rotted. More wood. You're not short of wood at the moment. <laughs> um. You're on the second floor, by the way. The uh, third floor, Zaddy. You're on the third floor. I don't think wood's kind of what you need to be looking for up there either. Yeah. Because you remember we came past these barns. Yeah, we and, got. Uh, yeah. Came... Um. There's nothing else. Everywhere else is dirty. Can I the floors see are here? stone. Yes, you can see through that. You can see through that, and there is a room adjacent to that. Wow. Let's have a look. You can see a room that's approximately 35 by 20 feet. It looks out over the actual castle gates, and it looks out over what you assume would be uh, would I'm face out from... onto where Lee is doing his fire. Well, um, I go Dude. through this door, this door first. Just to see more of this here. Okay, you go to just open the door. You, this door is maintained. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, is it open? You put your hand on the handle, and where you're hearing, you pick up somebody moving on the other side. Oh, can I pick through uh, the hole? You have a look to see if there's a keyhole or anything like that. It's not that kind of a lock, it's more like a handle turn lock. Yeah. Is there any way that I can listen a, a minute longer? Yes. Do you want to through do, the door? Do, 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 say, yeah, do you want to do anything to, in, to give you better hearing ability or anything like that? I just want to try and listen. Clean your um, I'm g <laughs> I'm gonna really like Does anybody press got, like, my um, ear against the door. No, no special spells to increase your hearing or anything like that. No, I have none of that crap. <laughs> Okay, you put your ear against the door, you try to listen. Lee! Fire is going. Eye, yeah. fire That's is such going. a cliffhanger! Fire is going really well. Fire is going now, really, really You know nice what? Time. For some reason, our stories always seem to go with one person really concentrating on making a fire. <laughs> yes, your, um, your fire is doing really, really well now. You've got your Yay. fire going. Smoke coming out over the castle. Over the castle? So do I see yet? Uh, what? Oh, what? From, from my fire? Your fire, yes. Your oh, fire cool. is now fire. producing smoke. I go and pick a uh, stone again, so I rest it near the fire, not 
on the actual thing, just near no, no, it. No, 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 neither yes, you go to find yourself yeah. a nice, flat, smooth, clean Because store. as I'm doing this, I've sort of realised I have no cooking utensils, so I need to cook sausages in there on the stone. <laughs> <laughs> you go and find yourself a nice, flat, stone kind of thing. It'll take you a turn to carry it across, it's, it's going to be pretty heavy. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He goes off to find himself a nice, flat, clean, heavy stone. Sally, so you're listening to the door, and you can hear something. I'll tell you what it is. What I would perceive it to be. You hear them, or that, or that sound coming from the other side of the door. Well, like, they're doing little, like, oh, something. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does they sound like they're sleeping, or does it sound like... No, they're moving around. Oh, <laughs> You can't tell how many there is. But, but does it sound like it's a lot of scuffling or just like mm -mm, mm -mm, odds mm -mm. creaking? Maybe two. Maybe three. Hmm. You got your head, you got your ear up against this door. It's a fairly well maintained door. There's a the old fireplace. There's now, a bed and there's a desk table kind of thing with two legs. Missing. I couldn't see anything of that when I looked through the fireplace. No, you couldn't see them. That when you look when you look through the fireplace, you couldn't see them. So they're like here somewhere. Cause yes. I can only see like that and like that. Maybe you can you approximate. Yes, yeah, so you can approximate. You can see them like that. You approximate them to be in this area. I know my character can't see this probably, but no. what is that? What is that? What is what? On the map, it looks like a telescope. Yeah, that's why I was wondering, is yeah, it a telescope? Is. Okay. But I know my character wouldn't if be able if to if see it, that. If, but... if, I, if I put it on... Yeah, you can't see that, but the, it, it, the te it'd be about here. Where would that room be? There. It'd be okay. about here, and the telescope would be pointing in this direction. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Um, All right. What does this door look like? Oh, that, that's... That, basically just the shell of a door now. I'm going to slowly walk this way and peek over here and see what's in here. Okay. I creep the here. You what? I stealthily go here. You stealthily go there. Uh-huh. And peek what's it's, in here. It's approximately 30 feet by 13 feet, give or take. It looks like it's some kind of antechamber for some, like a servant's quarter, like a like an assistant's quarters. Mm-hmm. Like a, maybe a butler's or something like that. Anything in it? Or is it just a bed and a fireplace? Pretty much that's the same thing. This, this place is fairly, fairly run down. There's a bed and a couple of broken crates. Does the broken crates have anything inside? They have nothing inside. Uh, uh, um... There's a small fireplace, but this fireplace doesn't go through to the other side of the wall. This is mm -hmm. a an individual person's fireplace. This looks like it's a small kind of, say, like a servant's or a an assistant's antechamber. Mm -hmm. What about this door here? That door there? Yep, that, that door, it's not as well maintained as this particular door. Yeah. But it looks as if it's in good working order, that particular door. I put my ear against this door then, or see if there's any little holes in the door that I can peer through, if that's possible. You put your ear against that door, Lee? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got my rock. <laughs> yes, you got your rock, you've carried yeah, it across, you've just dumped it on, they dropped it on the floor there near the fireplace, yeah. near little fire right. uh, circle thing, little campsite. I'm letting the fire die down a little bit, so it's not a big... Oh, that's fine. Sense. You haven't got a raging 30-foot flame. So it's the thing. heat. I want the heat. Okay, flame. right, right, yes. Um, yes, yeah, so you're, you're um, moving logs. Just tipping logs that were you, you put on the fire, you're tipping them on to try and burn the entire log. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I want to start putting the sausages anything. on here. They're okay. smell that. So, I want, to put, I want to put three sausages... <laughs> They're going to smell that. <laughs> I want to put three sausages on it. Three sausages, okay, you put three sausages, yeah. nice, nice little sausages. Oh, they're gonna smell that! Three nice three little sausages, sausages. Yeah. yes? Yeah, I just wanna, like, just cook them up, just basic, normal, no fancy fancy. Okay, these will take a little longer to cook than, than normal because you're not using an actual pan. Yeah. Okay, so these No, with take... my little knife I just sort of prop them around occasionally. Yeah, you're just sitting there poking these little three sausages kind of thing. The fire oh, is yeah. dying right, down yeah. to more become more like hot coals, but you're just keeping an eye on it and making sure that the uh, that the, the logs that you have put on burn completely through. Yes. Okay, so you're just taking care of the fireplace. It's still very, very quiet for you, Lee. Good. There's no birds tweeting or anything like that. There's no... um. No noises from the birds in the bird's nests or roosting I just have to crack in, in the, the towers. It's just the fire, pretty much, and the sound from yourself. 
carrying cool. rocks backwards and forwards and dropping them hey, on the floor. Hey, you don't even hear me. Can I have a look so in here? Well, yeah. I'll just uh, yeah, set sure. that down. I just have a little peek in here. So you have a peek in, in there. It's a, it's it's a, a stable. Um, there is um, a lot of uh, straw on the floors of the stable. It's divided oh. up into about six. It could house about six horses comfortably. Okay. There is an old wooden bucket. Okay. Can I have that to go and sit on? Just yeah, sure. Yeah, it's upturned upside bucket. Yeah, it's upturned <laughs> bucket. It <laughs> would probably be able to get you some water from the stream, but it wouldn't hold the water. So in other words, you could use it after you try, like you grab hold of some water and and drink from it quickly. Yeah. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't contain the water for. So a it's a bit broken. Time. Yes, it's very leaky. Yeah. Yeah, with okay. a bit of holes. It's a hole in my like... bucket. Well, it's a hole, hole in my just, bucket. It's just very poorly maintained. It's it's very leaky. But if you wanted to be able to get some water quickly, and you know, that you needed to douse the fire or anything like that, that then yes, you could use it for that, or sitting on. Um, but you wouldn't <laughs> be able to use it for actually carrying water across Around, distance. No. Yes, that's that's fine. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, keep that there for now. I will put that on my inventory just in case I pick it up and run away with it. Just okay. <laughs> run off of the bucket. Okay, right, fine. It's, it's yeah, a, but a, you can a badly the maintained, flames, which is good. A badly a bucket, one bucket. It's a wooden bucket, badly very poorly bu maintained. Yeah, poor one in condition. Poor bucket. One poor bucket. Okay, Zelly. Yes. You got your head against this door. Mhm. Mm you can't hear anything. I'm on my way all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear anything. Can't hear anything from this door. Even if you would like, knowing what you already know from noises coming from um, the other, the other rooms. Yeah. yeah, from the other rooms, you cannot uh, hear anything from this. In case it door. creaks, I'm going to slowly turn and open this door. That door. Okay. You turn the handle. There's a click, and you push the door open. It squeaks a little bit, but it, it's not like, like you know, the sound of a portcullis opening. It, 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 it's not too deafening. Okay. I just want it as quiet as possible because I don't know. Okay, looking inside, you can see there's two windows to the to the west. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of bookshelves. Okay. There's a lot of old books on the floor. Some are rotten. There's paper, pages everywhere, like all over the floor. The roof in this area is um, is kind of missing. So a lot of the papers have become damp and wet. Uh, okay. There's scrolls as well as books, but uh, yes, there is. There, there is various books dotted around on the bookshelves. Nothing on these shelves or anything. Bookshelves. Book, all these are all these are all bookshelves. These are all bookshelves. The f like anything that's. Everything pretty much <laughs> in this area. Yeah. This is all a giant pool of water. Yeah. There's water running down this outside wall. The, this area here seems to be fairly dry. This area here seems mm -hmm. to be fairly dry. This bookshelf here is empty. Okay. Uh, how deep is that? The little. Well, it's fairly shallow, but it's just it's it's just the, the 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 pages are just so wrecked. They're torn. They're just all stuck together. You know when you get a book and you drop it in the yeah. water, the, the pages are just cemented it's just together. It's soaked. <laughs> They're yes. absolutely soaked. The ink on them has run. Some of the paper that has had the opportunity to dry out, the ink has faded on them. Um, there's several books. There's, there's, there's several books still, like, actually look like, look like books on this What kind of shelf. books are they if I appear to look at them this for a bit? Shelf. If I look at them for a bit, what kind of books are they? They seem to be on astronomy, like astrology. Huh. And that this one the same? This one is the same? Um, that is the history of Middle Earth. Ooh. I pick the most healthy looking book. The most healthy and clean one. It's a leather bound one. It's a green leather bound one. Um, the leather on it is dry and cracked. It acts more like a dust jacket than it does an actual cover of a book. A couple of the pages fall out. It's about an inch and a half thick of paper. The pages are some of them are very um, decorative. They've got some um, medieval calligraphy kind of thing on them, and they seem to be running in chapters. And what it is is it's outlining the the origin of the elves. It explains to you the um, the history of the Eternal Night. 